cesium-137. Now this is a byproduct of the fission process and it has a half-life of 30 years. Uh, it's going to be used in radiography of steel thicknesses between one and a couple inches. Uh, it's superior to other isotopes of similar capability only in its slow rate of decay. It's, it's going to be around for a while. Uh, we're going to use it in a chloride. Remember I said it was a cesium chloride salt. Um, it's a soluble powder requiring special safety precautions. Yeah, anything that can dissolve in water, you're going to have some special precautions because if it dissolves in water, you're going to have a you you have the opportunity to have something really messy. Uh, they the U S U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission wants this stuff double encapsulated in containers conducted of silver bray stainless steel. Well, they want it double encapsulated because this stuff is a salt and soluble in water, so. If it dissolves in water, you've got some contaminated water that you need to deal with. So you really don't want this stuff um, getting out. And the other stuff, a lot of the other materials are in the form of a an oxide or just in the pure metal. And they're not going to dissolve in water like this stuff, like cesium-137 would.